hello guys this is Madhu about john welcome to today's video tutorial i want to show you guys how to create mode on gable roof if you're new here kindly subscribe to our channel turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this now let's get started guys so i want to show you guys how to create this on gable roof now this was done with um complex profile so i'm going to show you exactly how it was done now before we do we have to check uh, the distance of the if the, the roof if right and it should be 600 so and the thickness it all depends on you what you want but what we used before i'm going to check it out and see right now click it and right click to edit so by trying to edit we would see a dimension which is about five five seven seven and this which is about two six two okay so that means if we want to create a mode that fits to that gable end we have to make it around these dimensions so i'm going to create a new one just so you see how to create a new one close all this okay i'm going to also delete this so delete this and we will create something similar or different so we go to option and complex profile and you see profile manager this is where you create a new profile uh, you can say edit or you say new right just new and you name it whatever you want to name it you can make it add mode gable and um, then it brings out the platform where we start drawing our mode okay then we use our field to and just create a box for instance so we get the actual measurement like this and we say the first dimension is about five let's say 580 and the second one is about 262 like we saw it yeah 262 and that's fine so we start creating our you know the design on the edge all right so we just maybe cut one of these you know cut one of these bring this in doesn't have to be what we saw there before i just want to show you how we actually created you can actually create a mode on gable end like this okay so i think this is fine we can also use this so you change the material to white and choose white glossy white and that's fine so we save just click save and make sure you activate beam okay the wall is um, activated by default and we can actually activate beam because it's beam that we want to use for that operation the reason is i will show you why just activate beam because it's beam we will definitely use then you save and i might have to this or, origin i have to shift this here okay so you save again and close now we go to the plan mode by pressing your f f2 on your keyboard and then we start drawing go to your design go to beam and activate your complex profile which is this okay by default it should be you should be seeing this but go here activate your complex profile and enter into the custom and select the mode we just created which is mode gable okay and what we do is you draw from one end as you can see that's the origin to another this is the center of the okay this is the center of the roof to this point right here okay so we, we have to go to our elevation which is this you want to you might want to draw a new elevation uh, viewport just come here viewport take this and just draw down like so okay so we click right click it 
select right click and make sure you click this open we're going to go to our elevation and we we'll take it up now the reason we are using beam is because beam has a tendency of behaving a certain way okay behaving a certain way as you can see when you click different um node you see different um operation on the pet palette as you can see i was trying to look for something when you click this that start from the origin this point right here they start seeing another option on the pet palette all right so the node you, you click determines what operation can be done with this uh, beam so this is what we want to do i want to you know change the angle of this so take it up and like so if you want this your this origin to be at this point we can also always go back to our edit and change it so we can yeah we can always go back and put it here just push this here so that it will be at the edge right here and you save okay as you can see then just push it up here so you can get that point very very well and do the same thing here do the same thing here okay and then drag i have to drag down I have to stretch and select this okay stretch it right there okay so that's pretty much it and you can see this excess this edge yes we have a way of taking it out like so when you click this as you can see if you click this you have different options then you see this this is a rotate joint edge okay you can rotate it okay click this and you rotate joint edge you can even rotate it to this extent like so as you can see okay so let's go back to our 3d to see what we have this is what we have as you can see It's pretty easy, right? So the next thing you do is uh, mirror a copy of that which you created. Okay, let's mirror a copy. Control M, Control, and mirror a copy. Okay, we see our 3D to see what we have. Okay um we also have to you know shift it this is where it's we have to have to shift it down we'll go to our elevation okay this is our elevation and try to shift it shift this right there okay stretch it backwards and stop it here and yes we have to adjust this our uh, edge by activating our rotate okay and then you rotate it like so so this is Akika 25 i believe it also works with Akika um 26 i i don't know about 24 but this is what Akika 25 can do so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one Bye-bye.